What is up my thrifty friends? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back. Today we're going to do something that we haven't done in a while. Like, I don't know. I think it's been easily a week, maybe even two since I've done this. We're going to go thrift shopping. I'm at Value Village feeling the tingle today. Like there's going to be some good stuff. I am looking for fall and winter. No more summer. Do not let me buy summer. If I show you a summer item, tell me no. <laughs> Okay, because I need to stop. I just need to focus on the fall and winter. So I'm looking for sweaters, jackets, shoes, boots, maybe long sleeves. I'd like some trouser pants. I'm actually looking for a few things myself. I'm looking for dark colors, of course, always neutrals, but um, let's see what we can find. And I got my coupon. I made a donation. I got my 20% off coupon. I'm feeling this. This is happening today. Let's go in. Parking lot doesn't look too full, so I like that. It is Thursday. Uh, I'm hoping they've restocked and done some stuff. Okay, I'm excited, let's get in. All right, let's get going in. Oh man, I'm feeling it. Ah, I always pull when I'm supposed to be pushing on that door every single time. Let's grab a cart, toss the Ikea bag in there. Don't wanna use their paper bags, always bring your own. And we're gonna head to my favorite section. I feel like I have not been in this section for a while and it's the athletic wear. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see what we can find. Lots of kind of cheap stuff. Usually I can tell by material content the odd time I have to look something up. I didn't recognize this brand, still don't know what it was. And first pair of Lulu's. Oh, what the heck is that? Regina Rebels. Nope, I'm not gonna get those. Regina is a town that's just below us. Uh, this is a pair of, I think, on the fly pants by Lulu, and I'm gonna grab those because that's a score. All right, Abercrombie, lots of Gap, uh, Nike's Tough, which is sold at um, Costco. A pair of Fila pants, those are cool, but I'm not grabbing that style right now. Old Navy, tons of Old Navy. Let's go to the next size. All right, what do we got here? Bench, uh, Under Armour, lots of kind of lower end brands. I think those were Kyoden. I've seen them sold on Amazon and another pair of Lulu's. I'm gonna grab these ones. Let's see the price, $15. There's lots of pilling, but we'll see. We'll check comps on them after. And we're gonna just kind of flip through. North Face, oh, I love those. Normally I would grab these, but they're marked at $17.50. For that reason, I'm gonna leave them there. There is value. If I was shopping for myself, I mean, getting a pair of North Face pants for under $18, that's a great deal. But for resale with profit margin, just not quite enough. And I think I would probably sit on them a little bit longer than I like to. So for that reason, that's why I'm gonna leave those ones. And it's kind of looking sparse. Lots of kind of lower end stuff that I'm not looking to grab today. I really only grab Lululemon, North Face, and some hiking brands. Like if I saw Patagonia, I don't typically go with Old Navy, Under Armour, even Nike. And I think there's probably value in those brands. I just don't typically sell them myself. Lots of cheaper material, very thin. I can usually go through and just feel material content. Sometimes when I see a cool pattern, I'll definitely try and you know, check it out, see what the brand is. But if I don't recognize it, I don't even check comps on it. These were kind of a cool pair. They were Under Armour and they had kind of that bowl on it. I don't know what it was for, but I did like them. Just not something I would normally sell. And okay, I'm just trying to skip through. I'm looking for things that just stand out to me. It seems like these have recently been picked over and not much new stuff looking at the color tags. Let's reassess. We'll try these larger sizes. Sometimes I find the odd pair of Patagonia or Mountain Equipment Co-op pants in here and those I'm typically just kind of flipping through looking for those types of waistbands. I've been in here for a total of two minutes. I found two pairs of Lulu pants. I'm kind of excited to see what the other sections have. This is going good. Today, jackets were very sparse. I looked through lots of junky stuff. Some stuff I've actually been seeing over the last few months, nothing new. All right, let's head over to jeans. Nygaard, Hudson, I don't even know, Guess. 
uh, Barbell. Oh my gosh, I'm going quicker than I can tell, but none of these brands are brands that I normally pick up. I think I would grab Guess jeans if they weren't priced at $10. If I was at the bins, I would grab Guess. If I was at the bins, I'd grab Abercrombie. But the prices at my thrift store, if you're looking, they're like $8.99, $9.99, $12.99. Lots of really high prices. There was a pair of Levi's, but they were the high rise skinny. I just don't grab that brand anymore, more because of what they're charging. These were a wedgie skinny, and they're in a size 23. They're $14.99. I'm gonna toss them in the cart, we'll decide later. But I am grabbing wedgie jeans. They're just a super small size. Uh, some silver, what else do we got? Harlow, this is a brand I always confuse as free people when you see the tag, but if you've been duped before, you know it's the same as Poof or that other brand. They have that little metal tag with the hanging thing and it just gets you every single time. Not much new stuff out, nothing that I'm really looking for. Some Zara, PacSun, but again, these are brands that I don't typically grab to resell. Another 721 high rise. All right, let's go over what we're not keeping. First is a pair of John Vardo's men's boots. These are leather, they're very nice, very expensive retail. I feel like if they wouldn't have been a men's size six, I would have grabbed them. I was expecting maybe between 80 and $120 for them, but they're a very small size. Next are these Coach Espadrilles. I think I would have taken a chance on them if they would have been spring, but going into fall, I just don't want to pick up any summer shoes that I'm going to have to sit on. And then this last pair, they're called Catalina. 
I looked them up. They were excellent quality leather boot, but there just wasn't very many sold comps on Poshmark and they were asking $25 for them. I felt like it was maybe a bit risky for in, for holding on to. I do feel like I could have sold them for double what I paid, but I probably would have held on to them for a bit. These Lulus, I'm going to leave them today. They are an older style and there is a ton of pilling. I didn't like the length of the crop, so yeah, I just feel like I'm going to sit on them. Lulu pants haven't been moving as quickly recently. And then these Levi's wedgie skinnies, they're a size 23. I think if they would have been a straight leg wedgie, I would have grabbed them. But because they were the skinny style, I'm going to leave them today. And then this last pair is a pair of North Face men's shorts in a size 34. Two months ago, I would have grabbed these, probably wouldn't have made much profit, but I would have taken a chance on them, but not heading into September. All right, guys, this is what I'm leaving. Let's get going to the car and go over what we are keeping. Okay, so I was totally expecting to find more items and I guess I did but their prices were just like crazy so crazy I did find some good pieces which we'll go over when we get into the vehicle I'm so excited about uh, yeah I gotta go do some more sourcing definitely this was not the haul I wanted but I feel like there's still some pretty big value in this Oh my gosh, it is so hot in here. Like I'm dying outside. It wasn't this hot when I left and now it's just like sweating. I gotta change that camera angle. Okay, let's go over what I found. I found some pretty good pieces. Definitely some fall items. Not a huge thrift haul, but I see some value. Like I definitely, yeah, I see some value in here. Probably a couple hundred bucks. First item that I found are these Sorrel boots. They are in excellent condition. A few kind of like threads here that are coming loose. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm just gonna trim those up and uh, clean them up. But otherwise they're in really good condition. Sorry about that sun angle, it's kinda, kinda bad. Uh, I also found this a Goldie sweater. This is a Goldie. Their jeans are very expensive, highly coveted, very popular brand but I don't really find their clothing. And I have looked at their clothing online on, um, what the heck, on Revolve. And it's usually like over $50. I imagine a sweater like this is probably over $100, but yeah, it's just kind of a nice brown neutral tone sweater. This is perfect for fall and winter. And it's in, an, it's in a small, it's kind of small, but whatever. I grabbed it because of the brand and the colors. Two, two things going for it for me. As you guys saw, I found Lulu's in the beginning. So I left the one pair, but I kept the flyaway pants. I have had so much luck with these pants lately. They've been selling really quick. Typically they're selling for over $75. These are in a size six. So I'm gonna see if Lena wants them first cause I know she needs some kind of comfy, but also like slash casual dress clothes for college. She starts college in September. Uh, but if she doesn't want them, I'm going to be tossing these in the closet. And then the other pair I left, just all the pilling and they were an older style. I scored those, both of those Lulu bras. So this one is a used one, not new with tags. I like it. Uh, I've sold a couple of these. They tend to sell for over $45. This is a 34 double D, really good condition. This next one is a 38C and this one is brand new with tags. I don't know why, but I always find uh, brand new with tags sports bras. So this was priced at $23. I saved 20%, which is like just under five bucks. So I think I paid about 18, maybe $19 for this bra. I'm okay with that. Uh, I like these, they bring people into my closet. It's a Lulu piece. I'm not gonna make as much of a profit margin as I like to but I like to have these pieces in my closet because they just bring more people. This is what my demographic shops for. And then the last item in this haul, which I was very excited about, and oh my gosh, they're in my size, 
I don't think these are going to hit the closet. Anyways, one of my favorite outdoor brands, it's MEC. And these are like, to me, they're kind of like a chino pant. And they, uh, I don't know, I just love them. They're like a hiking pant. What's the material content? They're regular fit. Uh, yeah, they're cotton with a little bit of spandex in them. I'm really excited. This is like totally my style, my color, everything about it. So fingers crossed they fit. They are a size 10 and I think I might even be like a size 12, but we'll see. I'm going to give it a shot. All right. This is my haul. I guess if I sold all the items, there's a couple hundred dollars, but I'm probably going to keep maybe two items out of it. But yeah, still not bad. I know I used to have like these giant massive hauls and I just haven't had the volume that I used to and uh, I think it's been going at different times. Next time I'm going to try coming later on the evening. I think I'm going to try coming after 7 30. I used to stop in after work and have really good luck and I just haven't been stopping in after work because work's been crazy. I've been tired and I just haven't been doing it. All right, guys, these are my fall items, all fall colors, neutral tones, love it. Uh, didn't find sweaters. They actually haven't even started the sweater section at my store. So disappointed. I'm hoping that they'll come out in the next couple weeks. I'm expecting they're gonna come out in the next couple weeks. It might even be September. I can't remember from last year, but it, uh, it definitely took them a while to get them out. And the jacket section is really small right now. So I was a little bit disappointed in that. But it is what it is. I still got some good pieces, so I'm not going to complain. All right. What are you guys thrifting? What are you guys finding this week? Drop it in the comments. Let me know. I want to hear what kind of scores you guys have come across. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. New pair of Sorrel boots, some uh, Lulus. This is all good in my books. Okay, guys, I am out of here. I am wishing you all many sales. And I'll see you next time. Bye.